Motion capture suits are made to capture motion. Duh. And that gives us awesome characters with controlled human motion. Well, mostly human. <laughs> But is the future of motion tracking to lose the bulky suits and markers and move to AI? The early stages of AI motion tracking is here and we've tested it. And all we needed to get started was a couple of these. So mocap suits translate human motion into realistic animation and CGI, bringing us some of our favorite characters like Gollum and Jar Jar Binks. No? <laughs> But how we've done motion capture has changed dramatically over the years, making leaps and bounds with movies like Lord of the Rings and Avatar. There's actually a deep 70 year history of motion capture, and we're not gonna get into that today, but this video by Aaron Ross is particularly helpful and well-researched. Check it out. The quantum leap. To say that these solutions are technical and complicated would be a massive understatement. They're very technical and very complicated and very expensive, even for big budget movies. James Cameron held onto the script of Avatar since 1994 before it was made. He just waited for the technology to get to a level that he thought was acceptable to make the movie. And he did the same thing for Avatar 2. He waited 13 years for underwater motion capture to be at a level that he wanted it to be at. And remember, the budget for these motion capture systems for these big movies are millions of dollars. So let's say you're an indie producer. You don't have a big budget, but you still want to use motion capture. What options do you have? Option number one is a Rococo suit. This is going to run you around $5,000. It comes with a full suit with the gloves for your fingers and also a headband for your head movement. It's also powered by a cord, which plugs into your PC. Option number two is the low level OptiTrack system. Now, these are inherently expensive. The cheapest setup you could possibly do will run you around $10,000. Doesn't have cords, but it uses sensors to track the dots on your suit. It's expensive. But a Along comes a new option with no cords and no suit. And all you need to do is set up four iPhones. Look at how happy this guy is. This is Move AI, an AI powered motion tracking system that doesn't require a suit. All you need to get started is a couple of iPhones and it costs a dollar a day. It sounds too good to be true, right? Well, we decided to test it. Just like when LiveLink came out for UE4, it allowed creators to do complex facial capture just using their phone. Move AI takes us a step further, allowing for full body motion capture only using video. This fundamentally changes the baseline of what's possible for indie virtual production. <sighs> Emergency press conference. This video is not sponsored by Move AI. However, since the beginning of the production of this video, Move AI has reached out to us and said there's a discount code that you can use in the description of this video. So if you want a discount on Move AI, look in the description. There it is. Use it. Back to the video. So how does it work? It all starts by setting up your iPhones in a layout mapped by Move AI. Everything you need to get started is found in their docs page. Move AI takes anything from two to six iPhones. In our case, we mounted four iPhones and used an iPad as our central control. Next, we did some calibration poses and away we went. So it doesn't say this in the manual, but I think this is how Move AI works. The server takes your calibration test and triangulates your subject in 3D space. It sizes up and recognizes the main subject and then rigs it to a 3D skeleton. And I think that's why there's no downloadable program. You upload your files to Move AI and it spits out an FBX file that you can use in Unreal Engine or Blender or whatever engine you're using. Now remember, it's not going to be perfect. It's an AI generated tracking. So you can always go in and fix what you don't like. What amazes me the most about Move AI is how simple it is to get to this step. You can set up for motion capture in half an hour, upload your files, and wait for your FBX output. And if you combine your rig with live link, then you have a full body motion capture. Seriously, no edits done to this output file, and it looks pretty solid. Look at how it tracks my fingers. If this was a Rococo suit, you'd have to buy separate gloves just to do this. Now check this out. These are comparisons between Move AI's tracking data and their main competitor. Some of these aren't even made by Move AI. Check out the one made by our friend Arthur Baum in Germany. Hmm, maybe this whole AI thing isn't too good to be true. Now coming back full circle, the question remains, will AI replace motion tracking suits? And on the indie front, I think it already has, or at least it will. Like Move AI is so new. And according to Move AI, this is their mission, affordable motion tracking that levels the playing field between budgets. So if Move AI works well enough, the quality of your final output does not depend 
depend on how well you can capture your motion, but rather how well you can turn that captured motion into beautiful animation. And as for big budget movies, I think AI will eventually find a place. Motion capture has changed so much since its inception in the 1950s, and it's the nature of the industry to improve and simplify the processes that we already have. Now, will it entirely replace suits? I don't think so. Look at this clip on the set of Avatar. These long braids are perfect references for final output, but AI is AI. That's its superpower. It learns more with the information it gathers. This technology only improves. And because everyone's uploading their footage to Move AI's servers, Move AI's AI is only going to get better.